Hi, I'm Karen Moreau, and I have a card chair to do today. I made a couple valentines and a few other little projects that I wanted to share. This little card is um, a valentines card. And I used that Jennifer McGuire technique where you put the tool in the background. I also cut a couple glitter hearts. And I used this cute little stamp and um, skunk stamp and then die cut it out, add another little heart there. Use some pattern paper. And I also heat embossed Happy Valentine's Day in the center. And I used some Tinsel Red by Stupendous uh, embossing powder. So I will sh um, show you a few of the um, products that I use for this one. And this is also a top folding card. This is the embossing powder I used. It's stamp stuff and it's by Stampendous and it's tinsel red. I use these Desire die cuts to cut the center of the card to die cut them. And then I sandwich the tool in between there. So I use two die cuts, one on the card and one on the paper. I got this free with a magazine. I'm not sure what magazine it was. It was out last month. And um, it's called Crafter's Companion, I think I got it from. And I got it at Barnes and Nobles. This is the paper pad I used. Now I got this from Hobby Lobby and it's Paper Studios. I got it, I think, 30% off. It's quite and a lot of cute paper in it. I'm going too fast there. I use that paper pack. That's pretty nice. And then I also use these nesting dies by X Cut to cut the little hearts, the little glitter hearts that I had on there. I use that right there. I use those dies. And then I use this foam paper and it's by um Create Ology. It's in the kids section at Michael's and I use that. Now this is the stamp set that I used. It's by Art Impression and a little Valentine's stamp. Quite cute. It's got Happy Valentine's Day, a little skunk there and um, these are the two skunks that I used and it says I choose you every time Valentine. It also has a Happy Valentine's thing. So that is one of my project shares that I have. Um, I also have another Valentine project share that I have, which is this card. Um, it's also using the same stamp set. I used this little skunk here. And then I also used on this uh, Recollections cardstock. It's 110 pounds and it is really nice to make for card bases. So that's what I used on this one. And I bought the 100 pack and I used my coupon on it. Now this card, what I did with it is I used some dies to cut out this heart. And then I also used another die by Spellbinder for that one. I just tied a little ribbon around it. I blended some ink in the background. Um, some Tim Holtz ink. And I will show you the products that I used for this. And I also, if you can pick up the sparkle on that, I used um, some embossing powder, sparkling embossing powder. I'm not sure on the brand of that, though. Okay, and I'll show you some of the products I used. I used Calid Expressions for the background, and then I just heat embossed it with some clear sparkling glitter. And also on the background... I used the ombre like a Jennifer McGuire did and I used these colors here and I went from darkest to lightest and I did it also on the um, die cuts that I used. I first used picked raspberry, then I used spun sugar, whoop, spun sugar and then I used, actually the spun sugar is on the bottom and I left a little white. And then in the middle is the lipstick, or worn lipstick. That's right there. This color here, the picked raspberry is up here. So that is what I used for that, for the inks. And then I used this dye here. This is by Spellbinders. Um, because it had the holes in it. So I used that. And that is called Fancy Tags 3. And then I also used this Spellbinders, the... Samantha Walker one and it is called Lace Hearts. 
and that's the heart that I use. I use this die right here. That was quite a nice set. So that's my other little Valentine chair that I have. Now I have another chair. I made this little um, unicorn card. And I used the Avery L stamp. And it's wishing you a magical day. And I used a little um, unicorn and a little rainbow. I went and I watercolored this background and then I um, used some ink blending on it and then just dry embossed it. I ran it through my Big Shot with a, an emboss folder and I just added a little bit of background, a little bit of sequence and that's it. I used a little Wink of Stella. I don't know if you can see that if the camera's picking it up. But I used Wink of Stella on the unicorn in here. And then I used some glitter or some uh, sequins. I got that from Cartwright Sequins. But that's another project share that I do. And I have so another one. I um, made these cards, these two cards here. I if you can see them. It's a shaker card. They're exactly the same, actually. Um, but I made two different homemade envelopes. Now this is using the Penny Black Missing You Stamp. And I use this one right here. And then I also, um, I used some ink blending, some Tim Holtz inks in the background. And then I colored it in with some Copics. And I got my uh, sequence from Cartwright. I used uh, some dies just to cut the outside square. And I also made these homemade envelopes with my envelope punch board here and I think this is by We Are Memory Keepers and I made a blue one and I made a a pink one pink and blue to go in there but I couldn't find any envelope for them it's a little big but uh, that's what I had to make the size I had to make for that I also have another project share another valentine that I have and it is this card right here. If that's on camera, yep. And then I will show you some of the products I used to make that. I used... Now this is another stamp that I got from one of those magazines in Barnes and & Nobles. And I don't remember which one it was. It is... Oh, I can't even tell what this stamp is called, but it's called the Modern Bear, and I can't read um, what it is by all designs. Okay, and now this card is a top fold card, and there's a saying in the inside. I used some circle dies to cut out this um, circle out of some of that fun foam there, and then I used a scallop edge circle also on that. This is the stamp I used for the inside. It is by Studio G and it says I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. I love you in the evening and underneath the moon. Which I thought was pretty cute and it just says with love. It wouldn't have to be for Valentine's Day but you know it could be used for that. And I also used this die cut um, bow here on the front and I used glitter paper to cut that out. of. And this is by Impression Obsession. I got the bow right there. And the paper that I used was from an old collection that I had, a Heidi Grace collection. And it was from Fiskers. And this was actually back from 2008. But I pulled it out of my staff. It is a kind of a foil paper. And it's pretty, it's really pretty. So I'm trying to use some of, some of the things that I have. So that's one of the things that I used. So now also I have another project share. I've seen all the shaker cards that were out there and I wanted to try to make a different shaker card that you wouldn't have to layer so much. So that's why I tried to come up with this. This was my first attempt and it's kind of like a pizza box. I um, cut the sides. This is kind of the template I'll show you there. And I just made a template. I'm not sure the size on this. But you can get the gist of it. I um, It's a uh, three and three quarters by four inches. And these little tabs, I think they're, 
an eighth of an inch right here. I will show you. I used a score pail, and I found that that actually worked better to um, use. And I used the grooves right here to make it. Actually, I used these ones right here. Um, I used those grooves to um, make the flaps on this one right here. And I don't know if it's a little easier or not, but um, I did that. And then it folds up. And I put a little piece of paper in the inside there, and then I would uh, do a little inking in the background. And um, I just framed it out with one of the square stitch die things. So I have a couple examples of it. This is the one, the larger one that I tried to do first, but it, that wouldn't work. It'd be too thick for going onto a card. So I did that one. And then I also did this one. This it just got a few little um, little sea life in there. And then I did some couple, you know, all those, everybody was making those little mermaid cards. So that's where I got my idea from. And this, it will lay flat. It's kind of a little bit lopsided, but when you tape it down, it will lay flat. And if the um, glitter starts sticking or these little things, oh, they stuck to my finger there. You can see, um, if they start sticking, you can actually just use either something to get the static with that probably made it worse but um I use normally a uh, baby wipe and I take that baby wipe and I go over the front of it and that usually takes it down when they don't stick anymore it's a nice trick I don't know who came up with it but it's a good trick here's another one that I made with two little mermaids in there and it'll lay flat if you tape it down. It'll lay flat. It's a little bit, you know, thinner, you can see, so that you can actually tape it to a, a card base. Now, I haven't made a card with these yet, but I will. I wasn't sure on quite the project. Here's another one. Now, this I used some cardstock on these ones. A little thicker. Now, this I used just paper.